Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am testing out some new makeup from ColourPop and it's not really all that new. It's new to my collection. The Perception palette that launched a couple of months ago I believe. This is a collaboration with Makeup Shayla and this is what it looks like. It's been all over Instagram and YouTube and I was on the fence about whether I wanted to purchase it. So that's why I'm a little bit late and I did decide to go ahead and get it. So I'm testing that out today. I also picked up her lippies and her lip gloss. I didn't get her highlighter. I'm not a super big fan of loose highlighter. I do have one that I really like, but I wasn't sure I really wanted the highlighter. But while I was on the site, I decided to pick up the ColourPop concealers and a lip liner. And I also purchased at Ulta the Brontour by Morphe. So I'm testing that out today as well and using a lot of other products that I've used before. So this is the look that I came up with. I was really trying to step outside of my comfort zone, so guys, be nice to me, okay? Be nice. <laughs> so if you wanna find out how I created the makeup look and find out a little bit about what I think of these new products, then please continue to watch. So I already have on my foundation. Today I'm wearing Superstay Foundation by Maybelline. So I wanna test out a few new products. This is not really a first impressions video because a lot of the products are not new. So I'm at the point where I would add concealer. So this is not by Shayla, but it is a ColourPop concealer. This is the No Filter Concealer. This one is in Deep Dark. I'm going to try it as contour like Shayla does. And this one is in, this one's in Medium Dark. So we'll see. I'm channeling my inner Shayla. Uh, all right, so this is the medium dark. Let's go ahead and use this. I didn't apply the foundation under my eye today. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the beauty blender today. Let's see how it does. Yes. Okay, I'm impressed. So far so good guys. I like the color. I like the consistency. This is my first time trying this and I'm loving how this is going on. This is nice. Go ahead ColourPop. I know I'm late and I know I'm late guys but you know when you are when you have a small YouTube channel and you're actually buying all of your products and you're not being sent a lot of products, then, you know, I try to use my products before I add to my collection. Like now that I have, a, you know, a really large, substantial collection as far as a small YouTuber collection, then I don't want to, I don't want to buy too many things more than I can actually use. So I try to use up some products before I purchase new things. So that means sometimes I'm going to be late. Okay. Now Shayla always says bring the concealer. And I don't think I have enough. I don't have enough on my sponge to do this. But she says bring the concealer up to the side of your nose. I need a little more. Let's try it. Let's try it Shayla's way. She says it gives you a natural nose contour. This is pretty good. I need to put a little bit more right where I have the darkness. So let's see here. That's not bad guys. That's pretty good. So now let's try out this darker shade. Let's try out the deep dark in my contour areas. I'll have to watch back the footage. I don't know if bringing the concealer up really worked for me. I'll have to watch it back, but that's Shayla's way. Wow. Oh my goodness, this is really pretty. Yes. I like this. 
this is really pretty and oh <laughs> turn it around uh oh we're gonna have to fix that i'm gonna fix that guys okay blending out with a beauty blender can be difficult i make the ugliest faces i know i make the ugly faces i'm gonna switch to a brush for the nose and then i'm gonna fix those mistakes i made this is a precision brush by sigma I'm gonna go underneath it and a little bit of this one. I'm gonna use that one just to ch chisel it out a little bit. So I like it. It takes some getting used to. I'm not really used to contouring with concealer. So it takes some getting used to, but I do like the end result. So let's go ahead and set everything in place. I'm already noticing though, guys, so I'm already noticing a little bit of creasing. I'm really, it's a lot of creasing. <sighs> um, yeah, so like, I don't know if you guys see it here, but there is a lot of creasing happening underneath my eye. And then I'm noticing like, it's not covering my dark circles I keep going back in yeah I'm, I'm keep having to go back in here where I have dark circles and again it's creasing I'm not saying I won't use it but maybe I need to set much faster I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier here we'll see if that helps <laughs> I'm getting down to the end here with my Laura Mercier powder. I have a one on standby though. I'm using the Fit Me powder to set the rest of my face. This one is in light medium, I believe. Today I'm going to use my Anastasia brow powder and I'll be back. Now, all right. Here we go. So this is our perception palette. And you know Shayla is big on having the mirror. It looks nice and pretty guys. I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. So we'll see, we'll figure it out. So let's zoom in a little bit. Urban Decay Primer Potion. I was gonna try something different, but I decided to stick with what I know I like since I'm trying new eyeshadow products. We're gonna use Culture, we're gonna use Culture as the transition shade. Oh yes, this is nice. Both of these. Hmm. Let's go in with Thick, that's the orange shade. And we're just going to go in a little lower than that transition shade. I think I'm gonna do a halo. We're gonna take Stallion. I'm gonna take Stallion. I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna put this on my outer V. In a moment, we're going to put it on the inner V, too. Okay. I'm going to take a little small packing brush here. We're getting a little fallout, guys. Uh-oh. If I had sprayed the brush, let's do that. And we're gonna um, we're gonna clean up edges and smooth it out once we get everything in place. I think I'm gonna add concealer to really make that halo pop. Going in with the same ColourPop concealer. So now I think I'm going to put this blue. 
I think I'm gonna work with these colors here. So I'm gonna use this um, 14. I'm gonna use the shade 14 along these edges. And I'm gonna do this eye first and then I'll go to the other eye. We're gonna go with September in the center here. I'm gonna put some Fix Plus. Okay. Not bad. Still work in progress. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. So now I need a small blending brush. Okay. I'm gonna take my small Morphe blending brush with nothing on it. Okay. And we're gonna first just try to um, blend out, soften all the harsh lines. I wanna smudge, do some smudging. Okay, and then let's go back over with blue. Okay, so, boy, I'm looking crazy. This is what we're looking like. I'm pretty satisfied with it. Once I add liner and lashes, I think it's gonna come together. So I'm going to finish this eye, do my liner and lashes, and I will be back. So we're coming together here. My eyeshadow looks are cousins today. I'm not even sure if I took my, um, halo up high enough like I wish I had gone up a little bit higher in the crease so it is what it is <laughs> okay um what do I want to smudge underneath the lash line guys I think I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna do revenge wow this is very pigmented let's take my little blending brush and blend it out um, this has shimmer in it, but I'm kind of wanting to see what this color looks like, like in the corner. This is, um, shade. It has shimmer, but I think it's really pretty. I'm going back in with Revenge and just putting a little bit more underneath that last shadow. Has it got lost? I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eyes, almost everything, before I finish the face. So let's go in with It Cosmetics Gel Liner. Why do I always have to do this? I think I'm gonna smudge a little bit. I'm gonna smudge that out a little. Oh yeah. Hi there. Hi. I always forget um my lower lashes so let's go ahead and hit those with my extended play giga black lash i haven't been using my lavish lash like i should and i can tell like my lashes are getting shorter again almost done except for the inner tear duct highlight hopefully i won't forget i'm gonna go ahead before I contour and bronze and use my Becca back light, whatever this is, I'm gonna use this Becca powder. I don't have the Kabuki. Okay, we're gonna try it with this brush. I forgot to bring the Kabuki over here. So let's see. Back light, it's the Becca back light. You guys know which one I'm talking about. I have the Brontour by Morphe. That's also a new product. I picked it up at Ulta yesterday. And this one is the, I think it's the darkest shade, Showmance. So it's a bronzer and a contour. The bronzer looks like it has a little bit of a shimmer in it. I'm going to take my Tom Ford bronzing brush, although I'm, I don't know if this will work. It's such a small palette. And let's just pick up a little bit and see what we're working with. Wow, that, 
that's kind of pigmented. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna have to go light-handed. And there were a couple of, there were other shades. I might not have needed this darkest shade, but um, I got it. <laughs> the, the shade above this one had more of a red tint, and so I went with this one, but now I'm wondering, maybe I didn't need this one, so we'll try to buff this out. Let's try to use the contour, and we're gonna go in extremely light-handed. Since we see, this will be very deep. So this is very, very pigmented. I don't know that I'm gonna buy a lighter shade. I just may need to be very light-handed with it. So let's go ahead and buff out the harsh lines here. See if we can soften it some. Oh, oh, I need to do my nose, guys. Let's hit the nose with the contour product. Okay, well, at least we know Morphe brought it with this product and it is definitely deep. I know I did the liquid contour, but uh, we're just going to do it again. And this is just um, Laura Mercier again, down the center of my nose. I have a couple of blushes here. I have Sweetest Cocoa because that is something that Shayla loves. And um, I also have the Melba blush just in case this doesn't give me what I want. So she loves Sweetest Cocoa because it really kind of gives you that contoured look. So let's try this one. <laughs> we'll dust that off in a minute. This is Everglow by Nikki Tutorials. That's the highlighter we're going to use. And I like mixing these two. I notice my cheekbone is so close to my eye that if I'm not very careful, the highlighter just goes towards the eye. Blend that in a little. And we're gonna dust off the translucent powder here. And this is a ColourPop lip liner. I always see Shayla using this one. So I just ordered it when I ordered her products. So we have Shayla's lipsticks here. This is Come On Sis. The packaging on this is gorgeous. This is very high end. Now I have, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, and this is a peachy one, I think. Okay, that's the peachy color. And finally, it's quickie. Okay, for what I have on, ugh, quickie. Okay, so now let's also try her lip gloss. Ooh, I love the packaging. Go ahead, Shayla. I feel like I'm gonna like this because it reminds me of the one that I like by Laura Geller, the Gilded Honey one. Okay, we're gonna set. Let's make sure that everything's gone from the face here. All right, we're setting with the Too Faced Hangover. Mmm. Inner tear duct highlight. <laughs> I always forget. Oh. Okay, inner tear duct highlight. Still using the Ofra palette. This gives you a bomb inner tear duct highlight. It really does. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and hit the brow bone a little bit. So first impressions of the palette. That's what it's all about. You've probably heard everybody else's first impressions, so let me give my opinion. I think that this is a very good palette. I think it has a good range of colors. I really tried today to step outside of my comfort zone, so I'm not sure yet how I feel about the eyeshadow look that I created, but the shadows were very easy to work with. They showed up well on my eye. 
they were very vibrant I don't know how they'll wear all day because I just created the look but so far so good as far as the quality of the shadows ColourPop shadows are pretty affordable this palette was really affordable in comparison to some other palettes that I have in my collection so for the price point very very good eyeshadows this is worth purchasing if you love these shadows and love the colors here for me I like this palette and I am going to enjoy testing out more looks but for me the palette just doesn't call my name that's why it took me a while to purchase it it doesn't scream savvy <laughs> for me I went ahead and bought it because it would push me to create some looks that I don't typically create. It has a green, it has like, I don't know what that color is, but there are some unique shadows in this palette that will push me outside of my comfort zone, if that makes sense. So I'm interested to use it and test it out some more. And there are definitely some shadows over here that are shades that I like to wear. Once I create a look that is my typical look using this palette I will probably be bragging all about it on snapchat I am sure this is just not necessarily a typical look for me but I was really trying to step outside my comfort zone I'm just gonna say that one more time one more again. I think this is a good buy because I think it's $23 the quality of the palette the palette feels really sturdy the shadow names are there it has a mirror you just could you can't ask for more You can't ask for more. <laughs> I love the way the lipsticks felt. I tried two of them on. I swatched the others. The lipsticks feel really, really nice. I'm wearing Quickie and it is, I don't know if this is a matte lip. I think it might be matte, but I'm not sure. And um, it just really, <laughs> it's wearing really nicely and I like the colors. Two of them are nudes and I don't really have that shade of nude in my collection. But I absolutely love the packaging. I think that's my favorite part. I love the rose gold color and it feels high end. I like that. And I like the lip gloss. It's my type of lip gloss because it has that sparkle and it's not sticky. So really good lip gloss. It's savvy approved. That was me guys. I like the concealers by ColourPop. I was concerned about the creasing under my eye. It doesn't look so bad now after I set it with powder, but initially before setting it with powder, it was starting to crease. It was accenting all the fine lines under my eyes. So, hmm. I like it. I'm happy I purchased it. I'll continue to use it and just see how it wears all day. It blended beautifully. Like, it looked great. The colors were great for me and I do really like it. But if you're aging like me and you have fine lines, just beware. You're going to need to set it with a powder because it will begin to settle in those fine lines. Oh, and you know what, guys? I have on the Eye Slay lashes. That wasn't even intentional, but I'm wearing the Eye Slay lashes, which are her lashes. Oh, ColourPop lip liner is good, except it's like a plastic pencil, I think think so I think it's gonna be one of those pencils that's hard to sharpen so I'm not sure about that part so this concludes my video I hope that you guys enjoyed it please make sure that you like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys again very soon so until the next time we meet again this is Savvy signing out